Is Charette going to continue? Yes, the bluff continues. 200k on the turn. 200k on the... No, no, no. Don't look at his stack, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, do not immediately look at his stack, Rodriguez. Oh, you're telegraphing your hand strength. Rodriguez with the sevens. Oh, they put another R in his name. They had it wrong the first time. It is Rodriguez. They missed an R the first time. We were calling him Rodriguez the whole time. <laughs> they fixed it. Rodriguez raised it up to 50,000. All right. Good. That makes so much more sense. I was like, I'd never heard of Rodriguez before. From Spain. That's hilarious, dude. Like, literally... Five minutes of talking is about Rodriguez. <laughs> uh, Andreas on the button is going to fold the 6-5 here. Yvonne folds the jack-3, and Rodriguez takes it. It's really funny. I mean, apologies to Rodriguez, man. I didn't mean to be like that. My Spanish friend. I'm excited to play some poker tonight, though. It's going to be good. I'm pretty hyped to... Uh, just because I've been watching live poker all day, so I just find myself motivated uh, in these situations. Where did my mouse go? I found it. I just find myself motivated to play. When I've been watching live poker for five hours now, it's like, oh, man, I want to try my luck. Love your stream, Jamie. Such a nice attitude. Thank you, Blazerion. Thank you, thank you. Also, my girlfriend thinks you look cute again. Ah, or look cute. Well, thank you to your girlfriend. We're both taken, bro. Don't worry. I'm not coming for you. I'm engaged, man. But that's very kind. Thank you. Luckily for me, you live far away and are in a relationship. Yeah, dude. Rebecca and I are down for that kind of thing, dude, if that's what you're... Listen, man. Teach their own. We're not we're not in that spot in our relationship, but I appreciate your advances. <laughs> Kappa. And that's seven, that's six. Two Can we come back tomorrow even if we did not like the stream asking for a friend in through the window? Stop. Um, Queen nine here against threes. Uh, Rodriguez in the big blinds. It's actually a pretty good flop for Rodriguez. Doesn't hit it, but a lot of good turns. Rodriguez picks up the top pair. He's going to check again. Uh, see if Charette decides to bluff here or maybe just try and get to showdown with the threes. Got a 65,000. And a call. Which you'd expect. Rodriguez, you know, checking on the turn with top pair is not going to be folding here. Uh, and uh, Charette with the threes. Jack on the end. Jack on the end. Queen nine doesn't love to see it, but is you know, still has top pair. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Charette goes for the bluff. Might actually be able to get away with it if he goes for a really big sizing. Of course, we can see the hand, so I don't think going for a big sizing really makes a ton of sense here. You check back on the flop, you know, like, what are you saying? You have ace-queen. Uh, like queen jack, I guess is the hand that makes the most sense, or like king nine suited maybe. But nine eight's gonna bet on the flop. Tag ten jack's gonna bet on the flop. You know, queen jack makes sense. King queen isn't gonna go for a massive bet. The bet at two hundred ten thousand. I don't think it's gonna work against uh, Rodriguez, but we'll see. Even ace king would make sense. Ace king would make sense. I think that's a reasonable hand actually. You're right, Honestus. Ace King is the most reasonable hand. 16 combinations of it. That can bet the turn for sure. And, you know, turn its hand to a bluff in, against a six or seven or small pairs and then get there on the river. So you're right. But I mean, so we can see the hands. But if you're Rodriguez, you got to think. Charette's been playing very aggressive, been playing a lot of pots, uh, been getting involved. You have top pair. You checked the turn, check flop and turn. So with top pair, I don't think you should fold here. Yeah, nice call. Yeah, nice call. 
Rodriguez picks up the pot, adds another R to his name, and look at that, stacking chips like it's no big deal. No more Rodriguez card dead. Mr. Monsieur Rodriguez in the house. Monsieur is French, it's not Spanish. God. Maestro? Maestro? What would be a Spanish word for, like, introing a man in a kind of ridiculous way? I don't know. <laughs> Me likey. Nanook. Nanook or North. Hola. Senor. Yeah, Senor. Senor Rodriguez. That's it, chat. How did I break that one, man? Easy. <sighs> Such a brick. Thank you, chat. Senor Rodriguez. Pulled around to Richard with the East Nine of Diamonds. I'm assuming raising here. And we don't know what any of those three had. Whoa, Andreas folds the Ace Nine of Hearts tight, man. Andreas playing tight. Tight plays. Everyone folds. All right. Tight folds. I'm glad to say you had to deal with just listening to me all day. But I finally dragged someone into the booth with me, and it is, of course, none other than Tom Hall. How are we doing, Tom? Yeah, I'm good. Tom Hall to coming into the booth. We've had the commentary very low today, but in. in the commentary, there's Tom Hall. He's a very good player. So you might pick up a little bit of his commentary at times. 45 minute delay, I guess. 40 minute delay. So you've got chips in the bag already for, well, a day off tomorrow and then day two on uh, Thursday. Yeah. Gonna have a great day off tomorrow. <laughs> I've got so many things planned. Yeah, you're a poker addict. Yeah. What is there to play tomorrow? Not much. Oh, no. Satellites and the hyper. And it's probably not wise. Day and E with the Jack 10 suited. Definitely hand you would like to play. <laughs> Diane. Okay. And Rodriguez on the button is gonna fold. Indeed, uh, 25K Wait, so last <laughs> <laughs> Ice. Matty Ice just played a big hand. I retweeted it on Twitter, guys. Big hand. Go to your Twitter. Check it out. It was tweeted out by Party Poker Team Online. I just dropped the retweet on it. I'm not going to show it on the stream because, you know, I got to I gotta hype up Maddie. That was when she was in the Ace 2 stream. Yeah. Muchacho. It's kind of... Simon in the big blind with the a6. We've been yeah. pretty quiet for a while, Simon. He's going to 3-bet to 200,000. Okay. And I like it, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think I it's going to work. Uh, Day and E with the Jack-10 yeah. suit is a very nice hand. But I think it's okay to, to turn, turn some of these into the bluffs. Is because it plays so bad post -flop that you kind of just want to win it now. Right. And you have a blocker. And, and Day and E is going to call with the Jack-10 of spades, and we go to a flop. But, uh, Nine... Five, deuce, one spade. Danny with an interesting flop here. Two over cards, three to a straight, three to a flush, right? So a lot of good turns. Simon missing the flop. Just has ace high. I can't see her continuing unless Simon bets tiny. And with this hand, I doubt he will. True, Ed. Yeah, yeah, I was just telling people. Go to my Twitter. I just retweeted a tweet from Party Booker Team Online. Matty Ice. like going bigger than pretty. Spoilers so with a royal. <laughs> with a royal flush. Spoilers. But go check it out anyways. There it is. Look at this. The same playbook. You just want to maximize your fold equity now. Get hands exactly like this to fold. And she's she's not going to... Diane's not going to be like... It's not crazy to fold this at all. It's totally reasonable. Like, it's... If they bet, like, a quarter of the pot, you should definitely call <coughs> versus a sizing... Simon's just put you under it. I would fold. Sure enough, nice little pick up for. That's it. Yeah, I mean, it's close. It's close there. 
That's whether you continue or not, so. You've been watching a bit of it whilst you've been Yeah, I've been watching a bit. I know you're such a poker DJ. I mean, it's just it's just day one. It's so goddamn slow, you know? Like, <laughs> Wish I could play in your home game. Are you in America or something? Can't play? Sorry to hear that, man. We've got 61 now in the home game. 47 minutes left to register. Well, I heard you, you know, like, on your own here all day. I haven't been watching all day, but... God, it must... It's it's hard work on your own. No, nothing to bounce off. Richard know? Seymour. Right. It's always tough, obviously, uh, through the rest of the week. It shouldn't be so much of a problem. Yeah. But the first day is tough. Everyone Thinking about it, it's got something here. No, King, queen, under the gun, West. with 585,000. It's going to raise. Richard Seymour. Bit of a legend, right? Yeah. I don't know anything about American football, but he's... He was pretty good at it. I'm going to go with that. Fun. Not a bad poker player either. Let me see. Yeah, he plays pretty decent from what I've seen. He's been deep a few times and some stuff. But, you know, the most respectable thing is... Holds around to shred on the button. Is going to fold Simon. Like with the A6 and the small blinds. Bad position. It's going to be full this time. And Walter in the big blind with King Jack of Hearts. I don't think Walter's folding. I don't think Walter is folding this one, man. Go, King High board. Late double up for Richard. King four deuce. Great flop for Richard. This is probably a double up, to be honest. I mean, it's it's so there's just nothing going on. 155,000 in the middle. Like unless it comes diamond diamond or something like that, Walter's not concerned here. So really good spot for Richard Seymour. It's gonna be at 75,000. Snap jam. Snap jam and a call. That's it. It's it's a pretty decent check jam actually, yeah. but like it's, uh, it's definitely giving off some tells with the speed well. of that thing. But there it is, king queen king jack. Yeah, I mean you put Richard in a tough spot with all those. Balls. And uh, Walter's got to hope for a jack. A couple chops out, yeah, chop outs as well. If it goes ace deuce or ace four or four ace, ace or deuce ace, stuff, you know, or if it goes you know seven ace, <laughs> just called the seven. That's wild. So it's not a bad shove, but um, uh, there it is. Okay, king queen. Gonna take it it's down. Gonna be extremely hard to get away. I mean, this run out. Is Up to a million. Right. So. Richard Seymour. A little bit more. 1.2 million. And Good. Walter now on one and a half million. Starting stack. Big hit to Walter. Say, not much you could do there. It was pretty cold. Once All right. We have 36 minutes left. 36 minutes left of action in day one night. But it's been fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. As I mentioned earlier, too, uh, there is the Millions UK going on right now, which you can watch on Poker Go. It's there exclusively, so you can't find it on Twitch or YouTube, anything like that. It's just on Poker Go, but you can watch that. That's happening now. Uh, and I'm also going to be playing some online poker after this. So we're going to be hopping in some tournaments and playing. The day is not done for us. Even though we're six hours in the live poker commentary, we're going to play some online tonight. So Because I can only play online poker today, tomorrow. And then I'm off till Friday, nice to until I'm, and then I'm off until the following Friday because my my family's visiting. So I don't have a ton of time to stream over the next two weeks, and I want to make the most of the, of uh, these two days. So Yvonne with the Ace Ten of Clubs under the gun plus one. He's got a lot of players left behind. Is basically what that means. Whoa, Rodriguez with the Ace and the Ace. Yvonne's on a deep stack too. Two point seven million. Rodriguez, going to go for the re-raise to 150,000. There it is, 150K. See, this is, you, you're not a live read guy. Come on, Tom. Uh, Simon's certainly a live read guy. He was telling me this morning, actually, how the time bank cards screw him up because he <laughs> needs like and action back on Yvonne with the ace ten of clubs I mean I think she should call here we of course can see that Rodriguez has aces but she doesn't know that and uh, ace ten of clubs is quite a good hand suited pretty deep against each other and there's the call so we go to a flop ace ten against aces the flop is jack six four now pretty dry not a lot happening here Rodriguez is happy Yvonne is not. He does not improve at all here. So maybe uh, a nice little queen of clubs on the turn would be fun. 
Maybe, I mean, I think Rodriguez should bet, but maybe it gets weird and it's a queen of clubs in the turn. That's what I'm rooting for. I'm up to 60,000 in our home game, by the way, guys. I'm doing okay. 42 minutes left to register. 65 of us in there right now. Rodriguez's? <laughs> okay, Honestus. Okay, man. <laughs> Four of clubs on the turn. That so that's a flush round now for Yvonne. And it, it's also not a scare card for Ace Ten of Clubs. So we could actually see a river here. Let's see what happens. Is Rodriguez worried about the four? They shouldn't be, but they might be. You never know. Yes. The door has opened a little bit. It's a jar. Lovely card for Rodriguez, of course. Twilight of the Beer goes, good question. Jamie, if you could go back in time and play poker knowing what you know now, what would you go back to? I would go back to uh, just before Chris Moneymaker won the World Series of Poker main event. Problem is I would have been like 12 or 11 or something. But uh, that's the time I think I would have gone back to. Just like what bluffs do you have here? 7, 8 suited, 3 bet. That's pretty wild. Turn and ace, queen, clubs, you know. These sort of hands. Not really that many bluffs. Deception wise, Yvonne's gonna have a So can Yvonne call here with the ace ten? It's a pretty good price. Two sixty five into eight eighty five. You know, she's getting a reasonable price on drawing here, and every once in a while her ace high is good. So I think I would call. Of course we can see the aces, so we know she probably shouldn't. But in the moment I'm calling here. Did she shove? That'd be gang. Well, the, she put something in. Probably is a time chip. Well, yeah, that, 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 time makes, sense. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. There you go. She is going to call. Are they tie? Still can't beat some hand. And a call to the river. Just check. Seven of spades. sizings here do you think no nah. just always all in yeah i've set it up for this indeed nice to check to him normal in is pretty suspicious unless you want to like bet fold and rodriguez is all yeah, in for nine hundred five thousand. yvonne can't call here um I'd be very surprised if she did. She played it good though, you know. Can't really do a lot else. You can fold the flop, but your theory is supposed to always call. I don't always agree with theory. Right. I mean, you have to deviate from that uh, player specific situation. I haven't, haven't really seen Rodriguez like get out of line, but it's not m about that. It's more about positions. I'm not surprised. Oof. She's using some time here. Why? Don't. If you were told your time banks carry over, she might have just snap folded. But, you know, you know it's all good. Folds. Okay, there it is. I was like, wait a second. Is she going to make a crazy call here? No, she folds. Chips. Moving on. I don't know what she was thinking about. Yeah, I don't know. Two times the starting stack is a great amount to put in the box. I'm not sure. In a structure like this. Says the man with three times the starting yeah. There is 30 minutes left of play in the day here. I'm in the home game. There is 38 minutes left to register the home game, right? So get in. Here's an all-in pot right now. Sevens against queens. Queens won. I can't show you because I'd have to show you my hands. I can't show you the table, but come play our home game. Actually, my smart home game. What's up, Norwegian? How's it going, man? Hello, hello. It was ambitious, but it, I had like perfect blockers. Personally, I would always raise king six suited there. You have a hero call? Sometimes, ZX. Sometimes. 
Not often though. Like in general, you probably shouldn't. You have to know your opponent's really quite good to hero call most of the time because bad players very often don't bluff enough. It's the other way. They're thinking about their hand. When they don't have a good hand, they're just not calling. They're trying to get free cards. And when they have a good hand, then that's when they're betting. But if you know your opponent's quite good and is really capable of bluffing, then you can go for some hero calls, yeah. Getting this TV time. It used to be a thing, didn't it? The TV time. Yeah. Yeah, the TV time. Played quite a bit with the Shira. Yeah? Yeah. All over the place. Just about, huh? So connection issues on party. Not that I'm having. I haven't heard any reports of connection issues, but I'll go to the chat and see if anyone's having issues. Uh. Come on, Simon. I want to see some ambitious, <laughs> ambitious stuff. Maybe a six off suit. Come on. Oh, come on. I don't see any. Don't see any issues of people reporting, so everything seems to be fine. Mandatory to wear your party poker patch? It isn't because, you know, dude, no. But I choose to. Like, you know, we asked asked the team too, Team Online, to wear the patch. It's just a good thing, you know. Like, a lot of people watching the stream still ask me, like, hey, you know, are you playing on uh, Poker Stars today? Like, they don't even know the software I'm playing on is party poker, right? So whatever I can to, like, allow people to become more aware of what what we're doing... It's a good thing, I think. With like total air. <laughs> and on the river, Simon check jams nearly all of his chips. Wow. It was a really sick play. One of the sickest I've ever seen. He's got it in him. Let's I'm see what sure he does in this I'm sure I'm like, miss, miss, you know. I'm sure I'm not getting the hand exactly right, but uh, it was something like this. There's the King Jack. Dzikuska. Raise, call, call. Seven. Oh. This hand for some reason. Uh, I'm commentating my home game, <laughs> realizing you guys can't see, and I'm on no delay. <laughs> well, not winning this pot, am I? <laughs> All right. Um, hey, Simon has got the nuts. <laughs> I, fold. I fold in my home game. I had King Jack. I fold. Lol. Simon wins with a straight as well. 200 IQ. No problem, Casino, dude. No problem, man. We have commentated a lot of live poker today, man. I think it's time for uh, lunch almost, too. But we, we're going to stream the, the home game and some online tournaments and stuff. So I'll figure it out on break. He's no longer from the UK, is he? No longer. Res resides uh, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Rolling around What's up, Sables? What's up, QK1S? Coming in from the Casino Daddy stream. Hope all is well. Cheers, man. How'd it go for the dads today? I didn't get to watch any, but I'll be watching some highlights and clips later and stuff. Lunch at 8.40 p.m.? Yeah, dude, on the poker schedule, it's lunch, you know? If you wake up at like 11 or noon or 12.30 like I did today, you know, just minus five hours or something. It's 2 o'clock. He just looks a bit dejected, doesn't he? Going his way on this table. Who Charette. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Charette raises it up to 60,000. Walter in the hijack folds the 10 9. Uh, Why the cheeks so red today? So it's just the lighting. They're actually not that red. It's actually kind of cold, man. I'm gonna turn on the heat. So Charette with a good hand. A day and E in the big blind with Jack 10 of clubs. You love seeing this hand. Very nice hand. Glad that your streaming had a terrible day. Good to see you on. I'm sorry to hear that momentum is a cruel mistress. But welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Let's have a better day here tonight, my friend, huh? Let's have some, some good sessions. Whoa. Big flop here. Jack 10 3. Charette with the open ender. And Dayani with the top two pair on an all heart board. This is pretty interesting. Dayani. Not Dayani, Dayani. Okay, right. Thank you, Mom. Very interesting flop, though. Come back to Canada. Then you'll see my red cheeks. Yeah, dude. 
perspective. But Montreal will be the next spot to live. Montreal is the next location, uh, I believe. That's where we think we're going, so. Not having a heart means that you can get it through a lot by the river because they're going to have a lot of. They're going to have a lot more hands. Dine at 75k. Minus 37 with wind chill today in Regina. Yikes, man. And now you're just like. Oh. But that's the one thing that makes me really not want to come back to Canada. That absolute garbage, man. Minus 37 with wind chill. Why do you live in an ice ball? Why? Why do it? There's no point. No one likes that. Why are you so cold, Canada? Ugh. Just be warmer. It would be amazing. Why? Why live in that, man? What is the purpose? <laughs> Bit of 150,000 here on the end for Diany and a charrette with the king queen is going to fold. You looked a bit dejected there. It's so tilting, dude, because I know I'm going to have some minus 25 with windshield in Montreal. I know it's going to be ruthless and I'm going to be so annoyed next time I'm in Canada for the winter. I'm just going to be so pissed off, man. I'm going to be tilted, chat. Be like, why am I here? I could be on a beach in Cyprus if I wanted to be, and yet I am stuck in this minus 25 of Montreal. But then the the, the flip side is so nice. I don't know what to do. But it's five degrees Celsius today in Montreal, which is lit. Actually, that's pretty nice. The fact that it's five degrees positive temperature is uh, surprising, honestly, because. I understand, like, January and February are usually super cold there. Who's your favorite streamer outside of poker? It's really a tie for me between three that I spend most of my time watching. They all do different things, and I like them for different reasons. I get to start off with my homeboy, Summit1G, first streamer that I really got into his community. Love his stream. It's awesome. I'm like a five-year sub almost over there. Um, it's a great dude. Great stream. Um, second to go, Casino Daddy. Been watching them for years. Like two and a half years. Love their community. Love their stream. Great group of guys. Really entertaining. Even in games I don't play. So I love Casino Daddy. Third, XQC. I'm a relatively new fan of XQC. I didn't know anything about XQC a year ago. But then I saw some of his clips on YouTube. My brother told me about it. I started watching him here on Twitch. Uh, I think he's great. He's awesome. So, uh, And he used to watch this stream, apparently. He said he used to watch some of my streams back in the day, which was like, sweet, man. Now he's like one of the biggest on the platform. So those three guys uh, or group of guys when it comes to Casino Daddy are like my go-tos on Twitch. I don't really watch any poker on Twitch because I just play it so much that I kind of just want to like, you know, Disconnect when I'm watching Twitch, you know yeah, what I mean? Play, Watch something yeah. else. And, and then on as well, he, but, you know, when I do, I'm, play. you know, I'm supporting the teammates first. He backed up like 18 million and then he and going from there. Was XQC a stream now? Remember him streaming Overwatch? Uh, a lot of variety streams, some reaction stuff as well. Uh, like a lot of reacting to memes and the internet clips and stuff like that. But like variety stream, a bunch of stuff. Do you ever watch Summit 1G? Yeah, dude, he's first on that list, Rant. I'm like a 60-month sub for Summit 1G. I'm a, I'm a mod in Summit's channel. You know that? I never use it for anything, but it's, a, it's an honor. It is an honor, Summit. Thank you for that. It's pretty dope. Summit's great, man. I've gotten into watching a lot of games through watching Summit, like H1Z1, the pirate game. I forget what that's called. Whoa! Hey! Okay, we're back. Thanks, YouTube. Um, watching CS, I learned how to watch CSGO from Summit. Yeah. I haven't seen CDN the third, though. I've heard of him, but I haven't really watched. Sea of Thieves, yeah, that's the one, man. Uh, Rodriguez, nice flop, bro, with the 10-9. Is going to start with the check. Trip nines. Now, is Charette, who is aggressive, 
going to start off with some bluffing here. I wouldn't put it past him. It makes me so irate that I just defend 98%, basically. How dare you oh, minimize yeah. me from yeah. small. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, Red is going to bluff with the three deuce. If I'm Rodriguez, I'm all in. Kings against queens. Holds. No. Oh, my God. Queen in the home game. I'm re-entering. Unbelievable, chat. And there's an eight. I mean, great. Ten nine is now the nuts. All right, I'm back in the home game. Oh, my God. Kings against queens, man. I'm back in the home game, though. There's 77 players in it, 27 minutes left. Come on, chat. Hop in the home game, man. Is Charette going to continue? Yes, the bluff continues. 200k on the turn. 200k on the... No, no, no. Don't look at his stack, Rodriguez. Rodriguez, do not immediately look at his stack, Rodriguez. Oh, you're telegraphing your hand strength. I respect that. Oh. No. 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 Oh, just call. Oh, just call. Because he, he can have so many bluffs, you know, spades and clubs and jack 10 and queen 10 and... Queen Jack and seven six and seven five and six five and just random garbage like deuce three. You gotta let him bluff. You gotta call the turn. You gotta let him bluff. Oh. Okay. Well, everyone's telling fun stories. Everyone's smiling. Poor Charette's just yeah, steam. Steam hat. Do you have any favorite video games when you're at grinding poker? To be honest, man. Yeah, I mean. These games aren't super popular on Twitch, but uh, like simulation kind of stuff, which is so boring and old of me. <laughs> but like City Skylines, like Economy Builder games, um, simulation games, like that sort of stuff. I haven't played any like shooters or action games or anything like that for quite a while. I don't have a ton of time though either, you know? Like I'm very busy in life right now. With the stream, with poker, with party poker, team online and stuff. It's like, just got to stay in action, man. Got to keep working hard. And there'll be time in life to play video games that isn't right now. But right now is like a busy time of my life. So, yeah. Last of Us. That was the last one that I played, actually. The last shooter I played was The Last of Us. That would have been about four years ago when I was playing a lot with Tonka and Connor and Mazin and... Mark and Mac and Victor and Fenton. I think that was the whole crew that played Last of Us. I think I got them all. Walter raising it up with the tens. Richard with the queen deuce is going to fold. And now back out to our guy. Newer player here. Newer player is very clear, has been very tight. He had, he had over a million. Oh, Andreas with the King 10 suited. Happy to report a too tight. Too tight, but that's okay. Yvonne in the hijack with the ace three suited. Now, of course, we can see that there's two hearts folded. Man wants to play poker. He's come to play poker. I mean, he's got many, he has many multiples. Of What's up, Baskarb? How's it going, my friends? I think starting on Twitch is a good place to start. You'll learn what you need to learn. If you want to get better at poker, by watching stream mills, you'll learn, like, they're talking about these things I don't understand, or what, what does he mean with implied odds, or like, how does pot odd work? Like, you're going to learn what to learn through watching Twitch, so I think you're in a good spot. YouTube as well, great resource. Poker books are kind of dated, so I would generally stick with digital content, unless you really love reading. Then you can find some poker books, but digital content, I think, tends to be better and more up-to-date. Big flop here. King, queen, six, two clubs. Pair of tens is leading. It probably doesn't feel like it's leading, but it is. Walter, you've got the best of it right now. King, ten would have had it at this point, too. 
But I don't think this is going to be a big pot unless we see a juicer on the turn. That is a deuce. A 3-4 picks up a straight draw. That's it. Uh, Walter has the 10 high club draw. Feeling 85% four ways here on a king, queen, six, deuce. Not bad. Not bad. That's a pretty good spot to be in with 10s. Should get the job done, right? Good feel. Good feel for having the best hand here. Check raise. No. There it is. Takes it down. Check raise would be great here because <laughs> Walt is like really, really capped. Yeah. Almost. Almost okay. I like Yvonne and Walter as much as the next guy, but I want to see a real Jamie stream. What do you mean, dude? This is a real Jamie stream. We got uh, 15 minutes left, and then we're going to start up with delay and play some online tournaments. Day 1A is almost completed. But we are going to stream Day 1B tomorrow, so if you guys are liking this and you enjoyed it, we're going to do it again tomorrow, and then we're going to do the same thing tomorrow night and play some tournaments as well. So, Action on action. Coming in live, online, whatever you like. You got it here. Some positive juice, you know. All right, Andreas, Ace Queen. Come on, Andreas. <laughs> Come on, Andreas, please, please play it. I did see his nines fold. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was just like to him that was so many chips, eighteen big blinds. Like. Come on, Andreas, please. It's, unless you've actually studied these things, it's, it's hard to know as an amateur, you know, what to call in those spots. <laughs> All right, the poop 34. Walter's going to call with the 10-8. We go to a flop. Ace-King-9. Andreas has the top pair of aces. Got to feel pretty comfortable here. 100,000. 75,000. Walter folds, and Andreas takes down the pot. On a million, dude. Andres playing super nit, but on a million. On a million. <laughs> we continue. Not for long, man. Not for long. Ten minutes left. I feel like casting a live tournament for six hours, I feel like it's been a journey. You know what I mean? Like we've really seen some stuff today. <laughs> we have. There's an element of satisfaction at this point. Is there a problem playing nitty? No. I mean, sometimes it's not the right move. You know, sometimes you're leaving money on the table. You're making a mistake. But, um, you know, it's just a strategy. Either the strategy is the best strategy or it's less than the best. There's nothing ethically wrong with it, you know? That's all. Uh, Yvonne raises to ace jack. Rodriguez with the tens and the hijack. Three bets to 150,000 here. Which is an aggressive re raise, actually, with how tight Rodriguez has been playing. I'm a little bit surprised to see tens not just call here. I think it's good with tens, but it's like on the edge. You probably just call nines, you know what I mean? And Yvonne is going to be forced to fold, I think. Ace Jack offsuit. You're out of position. You're very deep against a tight player re raising. I think you should probably fold. You played on tables with these kind of armrests. How much different is it compared to normal tables? With bumpers, yes, I have. Uh, Garo games, it's nice, honestly. Bumpers, nice. It's nice to rest your hands on a, on a big bumper like this. So it doesn't feel too different. It feels relaxing, to be honest. But Yvonne is gonna call and take a flop, and is rewarded. Ace nine eight flopping the top pair. Rodriguez, in trouble now with the tens, but in position. That's worth noting. So Rodriguez can choose to bet again here. They can check. It's totally up to him. Uh, Nami, no, a lot of people haven't seen it, including myself. Bet of 135k. A new table in the home game. 
To 82 people on the home game with 18 minutes left to register, guys. 18 minutes left to reg. Ooh, seven ball on the turn for a little spice. A little spice on the turn. Open ender for the tens. Does Rodriguez bet again? I don't know. We don't know the payouts yet because they're still day one B Guru games, so we're not sure. Uh, day one B is tomorrow in this broadcast, so. After that, we'll know the payouts and how many pay in the bubble and all that. I'm not sure if that's what he's thinking. Bet again here. 260000 which is actually a pretty small bet, given how much money is in the pot on this seven. So Yvonne has a situation now where she's got top pair. She's got a gut shot to the straight. Um, you know, it's like, it's kind of an annoying spot, but it's surprising how... Aggressive Rodriguez is playing these times. You're not in just such a like pure bluff catching spot, you know. Like this was pretty similar to the last time. Jimmy, can you please tell Party Poker that the ability to download the hand history is good, but should not be limited to ten thousand hands in forty days? It's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. Oh, <gasps> that's a straight. Tens make the straight. Jabodi, I will pass that along. You would have won because the six came off. I will pass that along. <laughs> I've just copied it. I'll paste it in. Tens uh... is such a good bluffing hand. When you block a ten jack on the turn. Where is it? And you have such a big range advantage. Uh, I forget where I'm supposed to paste that, but. Logically, you should bet pretty small. Uh, Rodriguez going for the bet here on the end. Just trying to find where to put that. It's really confusing for Yvonne. Right, it's hard for him to bet without a ten in his hand. You're just so like, at what point was he getting out of line? Like and just... you don't put him on ace ten because it's a three bet pot, and like ace ten is also like a really ambitious turn bet. So in Yvonne's spot, you're just like, what is going on? Like, You planning to ever go to Rosvedov again? Maybe, yeah. I've just been there for the Scandinavian Open. Why not? I mean, I'm really focused online and on the stream, so not spending any time playing live poker right now, but in the future, perhaps. All right, and probably like one or two more hands. About five minutes left in the broadcast here. And then we're going to continue on the home game, which has 18 minutes left. Cygnus Cross, what's going on? Brynjar. Where's Brynjar? I don't see him. Oh, on the final table, bubble of the 2K Winter Series chip leader. Yo, good luck, man. Brynjar, good luck. Take it down, dude. And the well, 2K final table, get it done. It she called, there we go. The match, Big pot. The Rodriguez. Rodriguez has played a pretty interesting style. Not, not like... Uh, he could have he made a couple of decisions better, but uh, he's... Um, he's done well, and he's been a bit creative, which I like. You know, he's not just like... Fit or fold like a lot of players do today. Mm -hmm. Walter. Walter. Yvonne's Walter. gonna raise it to fifty K. Simon calls with a king queen in the cutoff and Walter with threes here. Oh, I left my cam over there for a long time. 
It's going to call as well. All right, big old multi-way pot. I like it. Richard Seymour in the small blind. Sitting on a million. He was up and down this session, but uh, ending on just above starting stack. He's going to fold. Now Andreas with queen seven in the big blind. She's going to pass. So it's going to be three ways to a flop here. Ace, four, five. So no one really hits here. Walter's threes have a gut shot. Yvonne has a middle pair, second pair, and uh, Simon completely whiffed. I mean, backdoor hard draw if you're being real optimistic. Interesting how you should compose your range on the flop as you want. You're not gonna have and a call. Okay, Walter's gonna peel one off here. We can see Walter's like in not great shape. Needs a deuce or a three to win this pot, but could maybe bluff. Walter doesn't seem like the bluffing type to me, but it's possible that you could bluff. But great odds to call. It's true. Yeah, against a small bet. You're right, Gold Blend. You're right. Hey, Javaro dropping the eight-month resub. Thank you so much, Javaro. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the stream. Hype to the team. Hard seven chat for Javaro. And good luck to uh, Cygnus Cross. In that 2K Winter Series, man. Final table bubble, that's hype. You don't block any of the hands that, sh that you could get to fold either. We don't have 135K. Yvonne's thinking, oh, oh, she is going to call. Wow. This is pretty wild. Bet into four people and then calls a bet on the turn with third pair. And no straight draw. You know, he might not be... That should have worked so from Walter. Right. Just wants to it didn't. Like yeah. So we'll find out now if he, how he's perceiving it. I think he might. Try Walter should bluff. Which is okay. Go for the bluff, Walter. <laughs> his his facial expression you know, doesn't doesn't say bluff to me. This is not a bluffing face. <laughs> uh, sevens win. Yvonne killing it. One point three million. Chip it up. Chipping up, man. So he looks at One more hand. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it. So here was the chip stacks at the end of the day. Rodriguez with that massive pot, 3.4 million. Simon Dedman with 2 million. Walter on 1.3. We started the day with a completely different table, but it was a really fun table.